Welcome to our presentation on robot localization using left invariant EKF. In this project, we implement the filtering algorithms on the University of Michigan North Campus long-term vision dataset. The idea for this project is to use the IMU measurements available to predict the motion and then use the GPS data to correct the motion. The model for the EKF is given by orientation, velocity, and position. Given acceleration and the world frame, velocity and position are propagated using equations two and three, Acceleration is converted to the world frame from the body frame using equation 4, where QT is the orientation in quaternions, and orientation is propagated given IMU measurements using the matchbook filter. Here's a quick flow of how the EKF algorithm works. Given a prior xk-1 and sigma k-1, we predict the state estimate and the covariance estimate. A GPS measurement zk, giving us position coordinates x and y, is used to correct the estimates, giving us an updated sigma k and xk. This procedure is then repeated by iterating through k. In our LIEKF algorithm, we convert the state into SET3 lead group and convert IMU dynamics as such. By first order approximation, we develop the log linear aerodynamics with error vector C and extract the linear system matrix AT. We use deterministic dynamics for prediction. Using AT, we calculate the covariance estimate by recall the equation. Then using zero order hold integration, we convert them into discrete time form. For correction, given GPS measurement, which is left invariant, we calculate the innovation, extract the Jacobian, and update the estimates by the final equations. Now we modify our LIEKF algorithm to include the IMU bias. To accurately estimate such an accum accumulated error, we incorporate them into IMU dynamics as additional states. For prediction, we propagate state and bias separately because it's hard to combine them into a desired lead group. Then we combine them in the log linear dynamics using augmented matrix AT. Since the bias is not related to GPS measurement, correction step is the same as before with all matrices augmented accordingly. In the following slides, we present some visualizations of our results. Here we overlay the trajectory based on the consumer grade GPS onto Google Maps. You can see that the robot started the measurement from the parking lot and ended along Hayward Street. We also plotted the robot's trajectory over time in MATLAB to compare the results between our EKF and LIEKF implementations. Notice that the trajectories generated by both methods, colored in red, are very accurate with respect to the ground truth path, colored in blue. In conclusion, for our final project, we've re-implemented EKF and LIEKF algorithms to localize a mobile robot using the North Campus long-term vision dataset. We were able to obtain accurate trajectory results very similar to the ground truth information. Additionally, we tried to integrate IMU biases information to achieve better performance. In the future, we hope to improve our results using IMU biases. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation.